Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Delfino again. Well, I got pulled over today and I got a warning. No ticket. But I did get a warning. And according to the police officer, the DPS, I was doing 71 in a 60. I guess so. Uh, that's what she said anyway. And then, then um, but it was just a warning, and I was I was happy about that that she was gonna you know let me off with just a warning. And so, what bothered me though? She said something that kind of bothered me. She asked a lot of you know inquisitive questions like where do you work and you know that kind of thing. Uh, uh, and like I didn't tell her to any of those questions like none of your business, but I just kind of answered them you know, in like one line answers. And so, oh, eventually she got to a point where, okay, something happened here. Eventually she got to a point where she started asking me, what is this place? And I had just turned into my, my parents, uh, my parents' business. And I didn't, I didn't tell her what kind of business it was, but I just kind of told her, it's my parents' business, and I just came here to get something. And so she asked, well, what kind of business is it? And I recognize that all of these little questions are kind of just questions to get me to talk more. And so I answer her question, which she asks me, you know, I answer very quickly. Well, the, the name of the business, what the business is, it says so right out there. And I kind of gesture toward the fence. And she said, well, it's because I turned in here so quickly, I didn't get a chance to see. And so she didn't push that issue any further. But because she was trying to make small talk to get me to say stuff, when I asked her questions back, she kind of she kind of responded truthfully and and the truth of it was she was driving too quick to see the sign and so she was speeding and she was probably speeding by a lot and i started to think and i didn't tell her but i started to think you know what this is when police officers tell the person they just pulled over you were speeding so fast because I was going so fast. I was going over a hundred. I had to go over a hundred miles an hour to catch up to you. So you must have been going super fast. No, that's not the way physics work. If you're trying to catch up to somebody and you're behind them, you have to go faster than them to catch up to them. And the faster you catch up to them, the faster you had to go to do that. So I'm guessing she went really fast to have to catch up to me. Now recognize 71 over 60, like I was going 71 according to her in a 60. Yeah, that's, that's more than 10 miles, but it's not much more than 10 miles. And she, she gave me a warning for that speed. So, and I've been in the car when other people drive through there and they drive a lot faster than that. So I really didn't think 71 was that big of a deal. But well, anyways, at the end of the ticket, and this is the important thing, and I'm, I'm really happy she was the kind of police officer that listened. Uh, but I don't think, I'm happy I got that officer I don't think she should get special prizes because she did this, though. I think all officers should be expected to do this. But what she did was she asked, like, I don't, I don't even remember exactly what she said because she was kind of polite about it. She was polite throughout this whole encounter, incidentally. But she said something like, you want to say something, like giving me an opportunity to speak. And I didn't, I did want to say something, but I did not want to turn my air conditioning on. 
and my windows were down and it was really hot. So I just wanted to get into the building. But I so I so I just kind of told her, nah, I don't I don't really want to say anything right now. Like uh I I just don't. And she said, Are you sure? Like, it's okay, you can say something. So after she said that a second time, I felt comfortable telling her. And so I told her, you know, it's really easy to see when the DPS and the Border Patrol and the, uh, and the police speed and they don't turn their sirens on. And I, I think you all should turn your sirens on. And so we know to get out of your way. Like, why don't you make our job easier to make your job easier? We'll get out of your way quicker if you, we, if you have your sirens on. And, and I know that's not what's going on right now. And she said, well, it's because, you know, it just depends on the situation and all officers are different. And I said very quickly, I told her, well, I don't think you all should be different. I think you all should be the same in that regard. And she began to say something to defend, you know, her position. And I very firmly told her, you asked me what I wanted to say. I said what I said. Have a good day, officer. And she kind of told me the same thing. She said, like, drive safely and carefully. And I told her the same to you. And she went along her way and I went along my way. Uh, and I'm glad I only got a warning, uh, but, and I'm glad that she gave me a chance to, to say something, uh, but I don't feel I should tolerate if, if, if my speeding was so intolerable, their speeding should be equally intolerable. That's it. You know, it's like, it's just fairness in this, in this society. Okay. Just a seven minute rant. Adios, everybody. I'll talk to you all later today, probably.